Hello, my name is Jeremy Regneris, and welcome to the Choose SolidWorks screencast series. Designing in 3D saves a lot of time and reduces errors, but to convey your design ideas to the shop floor, you still need to create trusted and universally understood production and manufacturing drawings. That's why we've made this process as quick and painless as possible by providing some fantastic drawing productivity tools. With SOLIDWORKS, you can significantly reduce the amount of time spent creating and annotating highly detailed drawings of parts and assemblies, while being confident that your drawings update as expected when design changes happen. With SOLIDWORKS, detailed drawings are done fast. A 3D model of your design conveys everything, how it looks, how it works, how much it weighs, but the one thing it doesn't do so easily is tell how to make it. For that, you need a drawing. So how can you get from this beautiful 3D model to a flat 2D drawing in the fastest possible time? Well, let's take a look. After selecting a drawing template, the view palette shows the available views of the model, so you don't have to guess which is the front view or side view. And your working area is not cluttered with dialog boxes. Just simply drag a view onto the sheet and further views are projected automatically. Center lines and center marks are also included and assigned to different layers. One benefit of working with a 3D model is the isometric view, which can also be shaded to add further clarity. This particular design requires an auxiliary view so you can detail the features on the angled face. Although this view is in the correct orientation, you may wish to use a little draftsman's license to make it clearer. You can see that SOLIDWORKS gives you the flexibility to create as many different views of your design as you need with very little effort. The same goes for section views, thanks to the powerful Section View Assist tool. After selecting the type of section view you wish to create using the Tab key, simply snap the selection line to the geometry to create planar, staggered, or line cross sections. If needed, the pop-up menu allows you to add any level of complexity with jogs and offsets. Removing the fillet lines makes the view so much clearer. When this part was created, dimensions were added to drive the 3D model. Luckily, these can be reused to save time by picking a feature to display its dimensions. However, some dimensions specify design intent rather than manufacturing information, so you can hide those to avoid confusion. Another advantage of using these model dimensions is that you can make changes here in the drawing and see what effect they have on the design. Perfect for design reviews or when a customer is sent back a marked up e-drawing. With SOLIDWORKS, you can make the design change where it most makes sense and the effect of any changes can be seen immediately. Then, to ensure your design changes are properly communicated, just draw out a square, circular, or freehand revision cloud to highlight them. Some dimensions may detail features which are difficult to see in a particular view, and in many cases it might just be clear if they were shown on another view. This is easily done. Just drag it over to a view where the feature can be seen properly and move it around until it looks right. The dimensions for the axes of the gear shaft may look better on this view, so you just show the axes and drag the dimensions over. Then, use the Auto Arrange tool to automatically reposition them. This saves an enormous amount of time deleting and recreating annotations. Any tolerances, geometric tolerances, or surface finish symbols added to the 3D model can be shown on the drawing. A subset of the dimension properties over on the left side of the screen pops up in the dimension palette for quick edits. Tolerance type, sizes, and text notes can all be changed here. It also remembers your last few edits and helps you follow predefined company standards. If you need to add your own dimensions, the Rapid Dimension Manipulator lets you place the dimensions easily on either side of the drawing view. This means less mouse travel and less picks, but it also means you can dimension features without having to zoom out to place the dimensions, knowing they'll be on the right place. It even moves existing dimensions out of the way to make room for new ones. The dimension palette is always available if you need to stagger, realign, or simply rearrange the dimensions. The spacing can also be easily adjusted using the thumb wheel on your mouse. Now, let's use the dimension palette to make this a reference dimension and finish off the detail of the angled bore. 
Since you're dimensioning a 3D model, SOLIDWORKS of course knows which entities are diameters. Combined with a dimension palette, SOLIDWORKS' rapid dimensioning tool lets you dimension your drawings with ease, saving a tremendous amount of time. Once the style of a dimension or its tolerance information has been set, you can use the Format Painter to quickly and effortlessly paste at the style onto another. Perhaps a detail view might be needed to show some small features. Drawing a circle defines the view, but this is easily modified later. Like everything in SOLIDWORKS, a preview updates dynamically so you know exactly what you're going to get. The existing dimensions can be moved into this new view, or you can create new ones. Remember, what you're actually dimensioning here is the 3D model, so you don't need to worry about the scale of the view. SOLIDWORKS takes care of that, and now the drawing is really starting to take shape. If the 3D model was imported from another CAD system, or the feature dimensions are different from what you need for manufacturing, you can speed things up even more by using Dim Expert. This recognizes features like patterns of holes and dimensions them intelligently, saving an enormous amount of work. You can even mix and match which dimensions to use, model dimensions, ordinate dimensions, rapid dimensions, or even Dim Expert dimensions, giving you the speed and flexibility to get the drawing done fast. Now, I know there are still a few dimensions missing from this drawing. There's no substitute for checking a drawing by hand before signing off. But SOLIDWORKS does have tools like the Spell Checker, Design Checker, and Drawing Compare tools to make this process faster. Finally, no drawing is complete without notes and title blocks. SOLIDWORKS uses familiar text formatting tools to make notes appear exactly as you want them, and lets you include things like custom properties, surface finish, or geometric tolerance symbols, or even hyperlinks. If you have standard notes, you can put them in the design library and build up custom notes line by line as and when you need them. The title block is probably the most important part of the drawing. SOLIDWORKS has made sure that the title block is correct by filling out the fields with information directly from the model. You can easily see which fields can be edited, and all edits are written back to the 3D model to ensure that all design information is always up to date whenever it's used. And there's your drawing, simple and fast. Finally, let's take a brief look at assembly drawings. SOLIDWORKS can produce very detailed drawings of assemblies, including isometric section views and alternate position views showing mechanism movement. But one of the best ways to clarify how an assembly goes together is the exploded view. In this isometric view, the parts aren't spaced out enough. But as you're working with a 3D model, you can fix it right here. Just simply rotate it into a good view. Job done. No exploded assembly drawing is complete without a bill of materials table and balloons. The table can have as much or as little information as you want to show, with all the data taken directly from the individual part models. You can also edit this table and, like the title block, the information is written back to the 3D model. For balloons, SOLIDWORKS has yet another labor-saving device. You can position the balloons using preset layouts and magnetic lines to help speed up the process. These can then be resized or moved around, and balloons can quickly be snapped from one magnetic line to another. They can also be equally spaced along the line, so the drawing is not only done fast, but it also looks exactly the way you want. Thank you for taking this quick tour of the drawing productivity tools in SOLIDWORKS. We strive to deliver simple but effective tools to help you focus on creating fantastic designs, not fighting with a CAD tool, and to make it an enjoyable experience too. For more information and to see other screencasts in this series, please explore the SOLIDWORKS website or contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller. My name is Jeremy Rignaris. Thank you for watching.